A Detroit barber shop owner has a bone to pick with LeBron James, and it has nothing to do with how he tore up the Pistons on the court this season. It has to do with an idea for a television show and who came up with it first. Rod Maloney spoke to the barber and his attorney and shows us what this off-the-court beef is all about. The name, the Social Club Grooming Company, should give you a little bit of an idea that this is not your standard barber shop. But then when you go and sue LeBron James, well, that kind of changes the whole game. The shop's six years old within the Wayne State University campus. We hire different. Uh, we cut hair different. Owner Sebastian Jackson toiled here as a barber through school. The place failed and he restarted it on his own. His difference? Remaking the traditional barber shop. In this environment, we have black men, Italian men, white women. All trained to cut every kind of hair. He's doing so well with it, he's planning a second downtown location this year. And there's another difference. This is the essence of shop talk. A 50 video collection he's put on the internet he calls Shop Talk. We ask individuals like Dwele, Grammy Award winning artists, uh, and others, would they be willing to share their stories? He started at his shop, took his show on the road with Shinola Mackey. And that's where LeBron James comes in. Jackson's lawsuit claims Jackson met a woman within the LeBron James Entertainment Organization called Uninterrupted Digital Ventures about his show. And before long, Jackson and his lawyer claim LeBron had his own barbershop video on YouTube with MSU grad Draymond Green called The Shop. Attorney Michael Griffey tells Local 4 they asked LeBron to stop and he did until last month, and that's when they sued. They took that intellectual property as their own and produced it as their own original content, knowing full well that it originated from Mr. Jackson. Now, we did reach out to LeBron's entertainment company, sent them a couple of emails, tried to get somebody on the phone, nobody got back to us, but uh, there is some uh, large bit of irony in all of this because uh, it turns out that Nick Saban from Alabama, you know, football, uh, he did his own barbershop video, and LeBron's company sued Nick Saban for stealing their idea. And so on it go. So, Kimberly, back to you. So is the barber going to sue Nick Saban too? Well, no, not at this point. Uh, it's one of those things where they figure their beef is with LeBron. They're going to yeah. work with him and see if they can't figure something out. Who knows? Maybe they'll sue, <laughs> sue Alabama or Nick Saban later down the road. But for now, they're, they're going to stick with LeBron. That's probably a big LeBron. enough battle right there. Indeed. Okay, more to come on this, Rod. I know you'll keep us posted.